you know, obviously, y you do have a lot of children, yeah. and and uh, you know, I've been around you to see in a short amount of time that you're a great father. How important is fatherhood to you, man? Um, not really big on it, to be honest. What do you mean by that? You're not big on it. Like you're, in a, you're. I mean, you're a family man. I'm here with you. I see it. Yeah, but I'm only out. I'm only like in here because you live. Oh, well, I don't believe see, it's you. a crazy topic because I'm not the type like a sugarcoat nigga. But I'm four walls all day, every day. When you say four walls, you mean locked in? Yeah. Just honed in on the music, mm -hmm. recording. Yeah. You can take the hat. I don't mind. We bond. We bond a lot, but we're mostly little inside. Like Working. No. No matter when watching TV. I just Big just the flare. It's him. NBA young boy, go on ahead and stop doing interviews right now for me, baby. Yeah, go on clock out. You ain't got to do no more interviews because you know some things are better left unsaid. You got these folks climbing up dead beat Father Mountain to explain how you ain't really big on kids, which I understand. Maybe if you have one kid, you'll be like, eh, I'm not really into this. I'm going to just take care of this one kid and keep it moving. But to have about 9, 10, 11, 12 kids at the age of 24 with that and to be saying things like, you know, I'm not really big on fatherhood. That's a complete head scratcher to your fans and just to everybody who heard that shit. Now, while I do understand what you're trying to say, it still just doesn't really sound right. And it still really don't make no sense to me. And it's turning into a debate on Twitter, whether he's just a bad father in general, or if he's saying that, hey, I'm not into that, but I'm still good at being a father. I'm still a good father. And I don't know the personal life of NBA young boy but I do know what's been put out there and what he puts out there and to me I think that NBA young boy is what you would call a provider not really a participant in fatherhood what does that mean that means NBA young boy for the most part it sounds like maybe he does give money out so the children can be taken care of but when it comes to day-to-day -day things which a lot of people would say hey my father he just worked that's what he did for me some would say hey i love my father because my father was there every step of the way he was at every basketball practice he came and gave me solid advice when it was time to date women he did this that and the third i don't think nba young boy is here for that i think nba young boy it sounds like he's just here to make his music smoke his cigarettes live his life and keep procreating children and then just giving a few dollars for you to shut the hell up and get out of his face and there's no way to me that you can have all those children by all those different women scattered through the united states and still be considered a good parent at least to all of them there's no way I think you could be a good father to the kids that are in your vicinity. Maybe at home with you, he's married and he got a kid at home. Maybe he's a good parent to them. But how can you be a good parent when you got all these young kids and you've been on house arrest their whole life? Yeah, you can't do certain things like drop them off to school. You can't pick them up in the need of emergency. You have to call other people to handle business for you. So to me, I just don't think that there's any way that this man could be a good father. And I think that what he said is a direct reflection of his mentality when it comes down to being a father. And to be honest, what type of guidance is NBA young boy giving out? He's emotionally uncontrollable. He's always hot and cold when it comes to his temperaments. He was just talking about how he looks like he's always on drugs. I don't know what he has going on in his personal life. He can't leave the mountain. He can only have a certain amount of people in the house at a time because of restrictions. And that's been going on for two, three years. So I just don't understand how somebody could think that he's a good father. Now, maybe once he's able to move more freely, he'll be a little bit bigger on fatherhood. And I hope that one day he will value the fact that he is a father and he's not just a provider. But as of right now, he's Denzel on fences. I ain't got to love you. I ain't got to like you. 
You got a roof over your head, don't you? You keep food on the table, don't you? That's all it is for him. It's about providing. So y'all let me know what y'all think down below about NBA Youngboy and his comments. Am I tripping? He tripping? Let's talk about it. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Hit that notification bell. And we out, baby. Boom! Just the flare. It's him. Yeah.